Greetings and welcome to this video. In this video we will be explaining how to add users and sub accounts to your existing eDispatches account. Now users and, and sub accounts is very useful when you have a large agency um, and multiple departments within the county and this is also going to be very useful for the latest feature which is availability and response. So we'll begin by logging into your eDispatches account. You'll want your username and password to log in and once you log in we are going to want to go ahead and proceed to the account area which is located here at the top right so once we go ahead and select there we can begin looking through multiple sets of tabs and the two tabs we'll be focusing on in this video are our users and sub accounts so we're going to first proceed with creating a user now you may have a user already or you may have some other users but these are users who will have access to your account and we can set permissions as needed, but these are the users, just such as yourself, who have the ability to log into the account and make adjustments or changes to existing members. Um, in this example here, we're gonna be adding a new user, and I'm gonna go ahead and just create a username just called eDispatches Demo 2 and I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna just set a password here and, and this is something you may want to remember and it is case sensitive so you do want to make sure however you type it in is however you'll remember it that way when you give this user their username and password that they'll know it you'll also want their email address now email addresses are important because if this user were to forget their password it can then have it emailed to them if they do the forgot my password method um, I'm just going to use our support email address in there and I'm going to make this this user's name his first name is Bob last name is Smith so I'm making Bob Smith here his own username um, and I'm going to also be setting up some permissions and let me go over some of these a little bit with you um, this is enabled uh, the send priority messages that is is enabled by default now this allows Bob Smith to have the ability to send out priority messages this could be through the apps or through this web portal and there's some other settings here as well we can also allow Bob Smith to send out a message to any recipient and any sub account so if you have multiple sub accounts he can go ahead and not send out messages to multiple ones and he can even send out messages to any groups now that those sub accounts may have uh, I'm going to allow these permissions for Bob Smith because I do want him having the ability to send out messages to these other members of ours and we have this final setting here which is a master user now I don't necessarily suggest enabling master user for everyone but if Bob Smith were to be someone who is going to assist me with this account and he was going to take complete control over this I would assign that but I'm going to remain to be the only master user for my account so I'm going to leave that unchecked for Bob and I'm going to hit save and we have our created user now you'll see them here and you can review and edit this information so if we ever need to go back and change any of this information we can do so right again from this users tab the the next step we're going to be doing is we're going to create a sub account now this this is the area where we will be able to assign Bob Smith to his own account and to manage uh, his own members and I don't have any sub accounts right now right now everything's just under um, one whole entity here but if you select sub accounts from the tab and select add sub account we can begin creating our sub account name um, I'm gonna name this company one Bob Smith is kind of in charge of our company one so I'm gonna proceed with just naming that company one I know what it's for and once you hit that you'll be immediately given a sub account uh, what we need to do next is create slots now I know that Bob Smith uh, is, is associated with company one and they have about 20 members and I, I want to make sure Bob has enough room there for all 20 members that he'll be adding I'm gonna be generous and give him 25 text and app slots and 25 voice slots this should give him plenty and if he thinks he needs more I can always go back and hit edit limits and change these values so I'm gonna be generous give him 25 now I know he needs 20 but you never know who he might be missing and we have that 
Uh, I next, next I really need to assign this sub account to Bob Smith. So when Bob Smith logs in, he will see company one with those 25 slots. If you go to the right hand side here, you'll see the administrators. Uh, I need to go ahead and add administrator and we're going to be shown those users. This is why I always like to do that user step first. I'm going to go ahead and select Bob Smith as the user and hit add. So now when Bob Smith logs in, he's going to see company one and he's going to see these, these slots available. So he can immediately start logging in today and start adding some of those members. The last step we need to do here to kind of put together this whole account, sub account for Bob is really assigning his tone. Um, right now I have a demo tone and a demo tone CAD. Uh, I'm just going to be using demo tone for this and I'm going to hit add tone. Now when Bob Smith logs in he is going to see demo tone in there and whenever that demo tone does go off his members will be receiving it and he can assign those permissions. Now this is also very useful information with the latest availability and response. So it is important to understand that whenever this demo tone does go off, members are going to be able to set their response for that demo tone. Now if I have a different tone and a different sub account, different users can respond to that response as well. It would be considered a different event under a different sub account. Um, I hope some of this makes sense. If this doesn't make sense or you need any assistance with doing this, please do give us a, uh, a, a call at our support 973-453-5810 or email us at support at edispatches.com. We'll be happy to help you guys. Um, our support hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern. Hope this was helpful and take care.